Welcome to this four-minute online demonstration of Archive Connect. File archiving solutions offer tremendous benefits. They reduce hardware storage costs by up to 80% by offloading files to cheaper offline storage devices. Offloading these files optimizes file server performance and dramatically improves backup and recovery times. Unfortunately, organizations with more than a few Macs are unable to take advantage of file archiving. This is because the Mac's advanced usability features like Quick Look and CoverFlow trigger mass recalls of archived files. Simply browsing folders with the Mac Finder can generate requests for thousands of file previews. This can in turn generate thousands of file recalls, swamping file servers, locking up desktops, and making the system unusable for everyone in the company. Archive Connect solves this problem by providing Macs with seamless access to archived files. Archive Connect eliminates unintended mass recalls of archived files while allowing the Mac to continue generating previews for online files. Finally, Archive Connect increases user productivity by providing end users with fast, self-service access to archived files. Now let's see Archive Connect in action. First, I want to show you how a Mac interacts with file archiving solutions without Archive Connect. Before I do that, let's take a look at the Windows file server using remote desktop. As you can see, there are a mixture of online and archived off or offline files. Any file that has an attribute ending in O is offline, and in this case we have a number of files ending in O. Those without O's are files that are online and have not been archived. Now let's take a look at what happens when I connect to this same file server with a Mac. All I have to do is browse this folder and immediately the Mac tries to build previews for every file. As you can see the Mac Finder is busy and very slow as it attempts to wait for all the offline files to be brought back on so that the previews can be generated. You can see here that as the previews are slowly being generated all the way down the list of files. This kind of mass recall can bring the file archiving software to its knees, making it unusable for every user, not just the Mac users. Now that the previews have all been generated, if I switch back to the file server, you can see that every one of these files that, that used to have an attribute of O, meaning the files were offline, no longer does. That means that all the files have been brought back online as part of the previewing process. Now, let's take a look at how a Mac behaves when Archive Connect is installed. As you can see, we have re-archived our files and we again have a mixture of online and offline files. Let's go back to our Mac and connect to the share. First, you'll notice that if you're using Extreme IP as your file server, the offline files are color-coded in gray or whatever color you choose to make very clear to the user which files are online and which are offline. Next, you'll see that the Mac has generated previews for files that are online, but if I click on an offline file, you can see that the Mac is no longer trying to generate file previews. Instead, we get a generic image for this file type. In fact, if I go to Color Flow view, you'll see that no previews have been generated here either. And if we switch back to the file server, you can see that all the offline files have stayed offline. As a Mac user, to bring files online, all I need to do is double click them. As you can see, this is very easy, intuitive, and a self-service way to get access to archived files. This file is being brought online here. There you go. Another feature that Archive Connect provides is a contextual menu plugin that allows you to explicitly bring files online. So I can select a file and a folder. Right click, choose Bring Online, and Archive Connect tells me that there are 86 files offline and it asks me to confirm if I want to bring all the files back online. So this is a way for users to explicitly bring entire jobs online instead of having to recall files one at a time waiting for each file to be recalled before requesting the next file. Another advantage of this Bring Online feature is that it all happens in the background. I can keep using my desktop while the files are being brought online. This is a big deal for large files that take a long time to be recalled. One of the features you can have if you're using Extreme IP with Archive Connect is called Bring Online Explicitly. This feature requires users to use the Bring Online feature, which ensures that users won't accidentally be bringing files online by double clicking on them. In conclusion, we hope that you can now see how Archive Connect brings file archiving to the Mac, and we encourage you to sign up for a 14 day free trial at grouplogic.com. Or, to learn more, you can call or email us to reach a salesperson who will answer any questions you might have. Thanks so much for watching this Archive Connect presentation.